Hi, this is Laura. And those of you who have been following my videos know that I have a multiple variety of disabilities, including ADHD, Asperger's syndrome, bipolar disorder, and nonverbal learning disability. Well, what I'd like to share with you today in this video is how to cope well with nonverbal learning disability. I have um, a pretty severe form of NLD, but I've been coping with it very well lately. And I'd like to share what I've learned and what works for me. I'm going to share with you all a coping skills strategy I've come up with based on the acronym OCTOPUS. The first tentacle is organization. The second tentacle is coping strategies for stress, panic, and anxiety. The next is T for transportation, followed by O for order, P for perspectives, U for understanding NLD, and F for simplifying your life. I'll represent each segment briefly so that you can get a full grasp of the entire octopus. The first tentacle of our octopus is organization, and I'm going to break it down into component parts of prioritizing, order, and simplification, because those are the key elements of it all. To stay organized, we need to move more slowly than the average person and give ourselves permission to do that, because we can do an effective job with organizing as long as we have time to use the various strategies that I outline later on in this video. The next letter of our acronym is C for coping. Most of us have secondary conditions such as anxiety, panic, and stress. As you can see from my previous video, life is confusing for us with NLD and it creates a lot of stress. And we tend to get really anxious about just going out to go through the day when conversations are confusing, directions in a building can be confusing. And many of us need to be on medications for basic coping. And also we need relaxation strategies. And we need a good support network in place. And we need to practice some of the other techniques outlined in this video clip. Of course, another problem a lot of us face is difficulty following directions and difficulty with following maps and knowing where we're going and getting very confused. So I rely on a transportation service. Others who are not as impaired as I am may try a GPS navigator. And it's a good idea to take along a notepad when you go to an unfamiliar building. When you ask for directions, write them down slowly because the person talking to you will not understand how, why it's so difficult for you to grasp what they are saying. You need to do that for yourself. Another important facet of coping with NLD is a sense of order. We have difficulty prioritizing because the details just kind of hit us at one time. And so sometimes we need a criteria to organize and it takes quite a while, which slows us down and we don't work as quickly as others. But checklists really help a lot and also bouncing our ideas off a supervisor or a close friend will help us be more effective in our lives. Checklists are the best solution because we see it right in writing and after we prioritize, we can go ahead and check down the list. Another problem most of us with NLD have is perspective because we have difficulty taking in the big picture. People with Asperger's syndrome often have difficulty taking into consideration perspectives of others. So when we have both, we have a double whammy. It can be really good to bounce ideas off someone who is really good at seeing the big picture of things. And it can also be a good idea to make a list of positives and negatives about your day, about yourself, about major decisions, because that also helps to broaden your perspective. Another very important component is you, understanding. NLD. 
Use the websites that I mentioned before. Read some books on Amazon about the subject. And fully educate yourself about NLD. And this information will go a long way. Another important part of coping with NLD is to simplify your life drastically. For example, I will only hang the clothes that I'm going to wear for the week in my closet. The rest of the clothes go into another closet because I only want to see what I'm wearing and I don't want to be overwhelmed with the rest of my clothes. I make my tasks simple. I break them down into very small steps. I keep my atmosphere uncluttered. And I do one thing at a time. And this has really helped my organizational skills and it's really helped me to feel like I can cope effectively with my life. This is just an FYI. I started out by making brief clips of different aspects of coping with NLD. And then later on, the idea of the octopus came to me. And so I broke everything up and re-recorded with the letters at the beginning. And I couldn't organize it in Windows Movie Maker for the longest time because I had to replay each clip and find out where it went. So I moved slowly from the pieces to the big picture which is in a classic NLD style. And I came up with an acronym, which is classic for NLD, to able to organize information. And that's how I made this video. Thanks.